What's up, guys? So, um, I'm gonna be showing you how I make an eye rig. Uh, basically, from scratch, we have a rough drawing of an eye and a white color card behind it. So, we'll just uh, get started. Okay, so we'll get this, create a new drawing, call it eye, uh, turn that into a group so that we can do everything inside this group here. Um, Thing needs a composite. Boop, boop. Okay, cool. I'm gonna unplug this for now. Uh, composite basically everything plugs into the composite just to keep everything together. Um, otherwise, you'd have like a ton of little like nodes multiporting out, and that would be kind of a pain. So everything goes into the composite, and then that goes out, and there's only one. So okay, so uh, first of all, like the for for the eye, you um, want to make sure that it's set to separate, not 3D, and that the uh, animate using animation tools is cl clicked off. Otherwise, you're, when you hit tweens on stuff, they'll move weird. Or if they, uh, if you, um, if you um, try to animate, it'll add keys on the drawing. And we really don't want to animate drawings, we want to animate uh, pegs, right? Um, anyways, okay, so cool. So we'll start off and I'll draw the eye. So you fill it out. Okay, and we'll cut the, the white. Oh, actually, I did that on the other side. So we'll cut the line. We'll stick that on the line art. So L is line art, C is color art. When they're all together, they're there. Next, we'll copy this drawing. And the reason we copy is because when we when we switch to another drawing, so like if we're making a blink or something, we want the inside fill to act the same as the uh, line art. Otherwise, we would be pasting special, and that lets things uh, act on their own. It's basically a copy or like a duplicate. Okay, cool. So next, we will add uh, color art and a line art. All right. So now this one will only filter the line art, and this one will only filter out the color art, which is pretty useful actually. Um, we'll give them some pegs. Oh, actually, before I do that, let's change this one to I fill. Yeah, I like to do that because that way when you add the peg, it just goes I, I line peg, I fill peg. Um, so for pivots, see how there's the pivot right here? And basically, whatever you do is like the pivot will start off in the center of your screen. Um, so what I like to do is just like to set them at the bottom of the, uh, of the eye itself. And then we'll make the pupil. And again, that's just another drawing called pupil. And then we'll cut that. Oh, close that. Cut the pupil and paste it. And there it is right there. Just a, another drawing node. And then we'll just, it's a black line color. We'll just create a pupil. I don't know why. I like to get rid of the line art and keep the fill. Um, for this, we'll add a peg, and I like to set the pivot point on pupils like right in the center. Um, just it's just easier for squash and stretch, right? So I'll uh, get that. See, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, that's weird. Oh, good, it created another drawing upside. Boop. Okay, here we go. So next, I'll turn that back on, and we have it layered so the liner is on top. Pupil is in the middle and the color art is on the bottom, right? Otherwise, like things could mislayer. And we don't actually, in, in a rig, you don't actually want to move things forward and back in space. We want that, that can be done when you're animating, but when stuff is set to default, you want stuff to default like proper layering so it'll follow the layering on the composite. Um, but make sure though that your composite is set to uh, pass through and not bitmap. Okay. So next, uh, I want the pupil to animate, but I don't want it to be able to go outside of this color art. Like, you don't want it to go outside the eye, right? You want it to, like, be able to go right up against, maybe, or, you know, like, if you're going to do a funny shape, but you, want, you don't want it to go outside. So what we'll do is we'll add a cutter to the pupil. Uh, cutter. And we'll cut the pupil with the fill. Oh, actually... And then we'll turn that into an inverted cutter. So now the pupil will only show up 
inside the eyeball. Ooh, very clever. Okay, cool. Um, next thing for an eye, you probably are going to want um, the eyebrow, right? So, so we'll get this. We'll call this one brow. Okay, and then the same idea, right? We'll take the pencil tool and then we'll just... I'll just make it. A, I'll make it. A, I'll just make it a line this time. Like normally, you know, go in, make sure it's like a perfect, perfect curve or whatever. Right. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay. Cool. So we got this, and then also inside. So we'll put this on the, on the line art. Okay. And then on the color art, we'll um. We'll do something else. So what we're gonna have is. We're gonna pick this crazy green color. Okay. And then we're going to uh, make a big ol' well, maybe it might be a little bit too big, but you know, just a pretty big um, blob. And then I'm going to delete the line, the line art. So if you look at it now, it's like, oh, look at that. That's pretty crazy, right? Um, what this green thing is going to do is going to cut the the eye layer itself. Um, so and then I'll add a composite underneath. So that this can be separate, and then um, we'll add a cutter again, and we'll cut the, the whole eye with this brow. So um, basically, what we're going to do next is color arts, okay? And then basically, so the color art of the eyebrow is going to cut the whole rest of the eye, okay? Next, we so that we don't see that green, we're gonna have it so that only the line art shows up from the uh, brow. Uh, we put it in the line art, didn't we? Line art. Oh, I did that thing again. I don't know. Okay, cool. So where were we? So it'll only cut the brow. Okay, cool. So we have this brow. Okay, and we'll set our pivot so that it's not here, but actually in the middle of the eyebrow. I mean, well, some people can set them on the tip, which I think kind of also can work if you're because just for like uh, expression changes and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, now look at that. Ooh, yeah, cool, right? Okay, so then. One last thing that we do to the brow is we will add a deformer. So click this little hammer thingy and go to tool properties. And then we'll make it an envelope deformer. And then we're not gonna like close the envelope or anything. It's just really useful to be able to, um, so I'll make the deformer, set it to the length of the brow. And like if you use the other type of deformer, you can't, move the anchor around but if you use the envelope to form you can move the anchor around and that's super useful for like um expressions and stuff right so i can go like this Ooh, yeah i got angry eyes and then if i'm like oh i can adjust this but if we use the spline deformer and you grab the anchor then it doesn't um it'll move everything like as if you just grabbed it like this and did this so anyway yeah so there so now we have the eye right okay it's pretty simple um, the only thing now we do is like blinks. So go into the the uh, the eye layer, and we'll right click, duplicate, or Control Shift D. And so now we have a second drawing of the eye. And all we're gonna do now is just create like a blink. So if we just go like this, I like I usually make my blinks pretty simple, right? Just like a little thing like that, and then we use the cutter. Okay, and then we'll fill it with white, and then we'll use the select tool, cut it, and then delete the old eye lay, uh, the eye fill, and then put the new one in. Okay, so now we have like the the half blink, right? And then we'll go in, duplicate it again. We'll delete the white altogether. Whoops, delete the white altogether. Wait. Make sure we have the right one. Yeah, that's about okay. So duplicate it, delete the white, go here, get rid of that color, 
black, and then we'll just, um, just draw a closed eye, whatever, easy enough. All right, so now we have open and closed eye. Boop, 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 boop. Right? Pretty simple stuff. And I mean, it, this goes through the same, like, for everything, but you can obviously draw lots of different fun customize, you know, like, I like those UIs or the, the N shaped eyes, uh, but uh, that's pretty much it. Oh, um, actually, there is one other thing. Okay. So, another thing that we'll do is we want to like, create a hierarchy, right? So, if you click on this one, parent up, you get the, the peg, but the next time you parent up, you want it to be the, uh, the whole eye. Right, so we'll take that, we'll grab another, and we'll create a peg, right? So that's for the eye. Set the uh, the pivot, okay? So the next time you parent up, you want it to be the eye plus the pupil, right? Okay, so now we have that. And the next time you parent up, you want it to be the eye plus the pupil plus the brow, right? So now we'll go, if we click it around, like just make sure it works, we'll click on this, parent up, B, 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 yep, that looks right. Okay, grab the eye, B, 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 yep, looks right. Grab the brow, B, yep, looks right. Okay, cool, so now we have a fully functioning eye. The last thing you wanna do is just put a little peg on top of the outside of the group. So now the group has its own little thing. And again, just one last thing, make sure you set the pupil or the, uh, the pivots. And uh, there you go, pretty good, that's it. All right, thanks guys.